You tune in to the second edition of Hard Hit Radio uh, on your AM St. Pete Radio. Um, this is your host, Toriana Parker, recording live from the Deuces Live on 22nd Street South, 833 to be exact. Today, I have a, a super special, special guest. This brother goes by the name of G. Bree, very knowledgeable, intelligent brother that we're going to interview. We're going to go a couple. Our super executive producer, Jabbar Edmonds, brought up a couple subject matters. That he thought was only pertinent right now that we should bring up. And it was about some incidents that happened in Ferguson and some incidents that can happen here in, right here in St. Pete. And without further ado, because you know this is the show is never about the host, but it's about our guest. I'm gonna bring in um, our guest G Bree. G, how you doing today, brother? I'm doing okay. How you doing? Fantastic. You know, you, you can see G a, a lot of stuff goes around around the country. I mean, you could take uh New York, Ferguson, I mean you could I mean we can't we'll have a whole segment to name all the states. I'm just gonna bring some stuff close to home. Our brothers have engagement with the law enforcement all the time, right? And they have good points. And most of the time, their rights, like, rights are being violated. You're very knowledgeable, very educated in that area. And like, what would a young person should do in our engagement with law enforcement here in the city? Well, first of all, um, I think that it's very important for you know everyone to recognize the fact that police are trained to read body language right so the hostility that you know that you display to these officers the way you talk your aggression everything makes a, a big difference when they're dealing with you because they whether you recognize it or not these people are analyzing you right during this the situation like when during the traffic stop or whatever encounter that you're having in the back of this officer's mind, what he's trained is being displayed to him. So he's reading your gestures. He's checking to see how hostile you are. And, and basically, I say all that to say your hostility level. Make sure you're calm and poised when you're dealing with these people. And, and you don't start yelling and acting crazy, but be lawful. You know, and be within the law. Because right then and there, no matter what happens, you know, you know, God forbid that you lose your life, but you know, if someone's recording or something's happening where someone is witnessing, then you know, it'll be unjustified the actions of the officers because just like the um, the the, uh, the brother in uh, I forgot, um, I think it was in Cincinnati, but for the most part, um, the officers were indicted because their words they they gave a word. the right. Right, right. They said mm -hmm. that they said this happened, but when they got the cameras, they saw that something else happened. That right. the brother had his hands up, you know, and he was not, you know, being disrespectful, being loud, and you know, and that's what I'm saying. So, you know, because guess what? Being tough is probably gonna be the worst thing that can happen at a traffic stop with you. And you already see your out weapon. You already see your out man. The worst thing that you can do is, you know, be belligerent or crazy and loud and stupid, and give them a reason you know, to, to take you out of here. Brother, I, I love that. I love every part of that. So, G, let's say, maybe I'm that young thug cat. Now, I mean, you know, I have my interaction. Maybe I'm not nobody that's going to go and take nobody life, but, you know, I'm, I'm misguided right now. Right. I have my infraction with law enforcement, but I, I just think these people are messing with me. I mean, every time I'm driving around the corner, you know, I'm getting pulled over, and I don't think I'm getting no reason. How, how do I combat that? I mean, what, what can I do? Well, there are processes that you know, and, and that's why I'm, 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 I'm just going to tell you this. If you are a man, I don't care what color you are, and you are living outside of the knowledge of the system that you are living in, meaning the law, you have to be in acknowledgement of these laws that in this land that you live in. You know, and I think that it's important that I don't care if you're a thug or if you're a businessman. You have to know the law. It's, it's, it's almost like um, a gizmo or gadget. Everything that you get has either a policy or a word that gives you knowledge that, to what you're dealing with, like this laptop. You know, if this, when, I, when you open this laptop in the box, it came with instruction. It told you everything about the laptop, you know, and 
and and um and 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 you know basically it showed you it gave you uh, information so you can understand what you was dealing with and that's just like the land here you have to know what type of laws and ordinances that are here so you can know how to live within the law and know when it's time for you to get when it really is time for you to get hostile because your rights have been violated or when the officer is approaching you and has violated your rights and now you have to seek out the processes that they've put into place like for instance going down to the police station these officers hate that mm -hmm. they hate when you go file complaints against them they might talk noise like they don't but in reality that's just, this is their job and no one wants to be working in front of Tropicana Field in 95 degree weather right so and that's what a complainer do if you go down there and file that complaint right you know what that was going to bring us to the next uh, process, the uh, next segment. We're going to go to a commercial. When we come back, we're going to ask Brother G, how do we go into if we need to file a complaint against something? You know, so we that it gets documented. So we, we'll be going to a commercial. And our first of all, we go to our first commercial. I want to definitely give a, a good shout out to our sponsor, One Little Magazine. Uh, G, that, those are the ones that put us in this business here. Uh, they, they, they does the production, so big up to our brother uh, Jabari Edmonds who put that show together. And we'll come back as soon as commercial, and I want to talk to you about that. Again, our second segment with that we got the, in the studio today, Brother G. Breed. Uh, we're speaking some knowledge on our international law enforcement. We got we're starting our uh, as our last segment. Uh, G. Breed introduced about how it follows. You know, you feel your life's been violated. And that's what we ended the segment with last time. And that's what we're gonna start the segment with this time. So, G. In interaction, I've had an altercation now with law enforcement. I don't, I don't think that went down. I don't think this whole stop went down right. I totally feel violated. I was not in my right. What do I need to do next? Well, definitely, um, I would definitely advise, you know, you not to never, ever think that you can get the results that you were probably going to want immediately if you are, you know, hostile with an officer on the scene because you got to remember this dude got a gun. He's trained. Um, you know, it's just like a no win, you know, I, I'm not telling you that, you know, just let them kill you, nah. But I am telling you that the process that is probably more lethal than that is this. Going to the police station, asking for internal affairs. See, this internal affairs unit is not a part of the police station. They just in-house with them because that's exactly how close they need to be to see exactly what's going on. And um, when you go down there and you tell them that you want to file a complaint against a certain officer um, and, and you want to start a, the, the paperwork, the paper trail um, showing not only that you tried to resolve this matter on a humane level, um, but you, you also, you know, you're willing to comply with the laws and the system of, of chain of command and process. Um, because I'm gonna tell you something, a, a police, narc, whatever, shit, I don't care. They might act, you know, like it doesn't affect upon them, but in actuality, like I said before break, no officer wants to be in front of Tropicana Field in 95 degree weather with all that stuff on, um, or riding a bicycle. You know, it's just like your job when you, you, you're penalized as your job, you know. Um, and that's exactly what those complaints do. They stop their 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 pay, their progress. They they they, they blur if their pays. They 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 stop vacations. They they work. They work. They work. So if you ever feel that you know you've been violated. <laughs> Yeah. 
back again with our brother G Bree. Bree, you still saying um about this father's uh, complaint when I had um, my engagement with law enforcement? Again, how, how exactly we doing that again? Um, like I was telling you, um, basically that that process that they put intact, you know, to go down and file a complaint with the Internal Affairs, right? You know. It's a it's a reason why they put it intact, you know, because here is an effective way to affect what you're trying to affect. You want to affect the officer that you feel violated you. You want to affect, you know, the, 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 you want a resolution for, you know, or who should I say, you want a, a consequence for the violation that happened. And this is the basically the best way, you know, when you go down to the police station and you tell the, you know, tell them that you want to file a complaint against officer so-and-so, the officer Robocop, if you ask me, um, um, with the internal affairs, and then they will guide you from there. And even after that, if you're not satisfied, you can still continue your process you know, you don't have to stop there. Like if, if let's just say, because you know, to to me, I'm 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 a man of uh, of God and belief. So I believe in what the scriptures tell me, and the scriptures tell me that the high will protect the high. So if you feel like you got uh, some supervisors to this officer that favors him because they go fishing every right, Friday, right. Um, then you can keep going with your process. You can right. let that superior know I'm not satisfied with your result and your consequence. Okay, and, and I'm going to continue my process, and this can turn into a civil suit against the city, the city and you know the, the municipal power, whatever it, wherever you're at. And nobody wants that. But gee, I'm a frustrated man. I, I can't go through all that. I'm, I'm frustrated by the process. Right. Well, guess what? That's why we have a certain groups, especially like cultural gatekeepers, that I'm involved with. Um, and you know, if you feel like you alone and you need somebody that'll go walk in that, that, that hell hole with you, we gonna go with you. We will help you. We will go right down there with you and stand on your side and watch you and help you and, and, and assist you and encourage you and be that brother or that, you know, that help that you feel like you need because, you know, I understand that it's, it's, it's fairly new. People don't know the law. Everybody are not lawyers, you know, and it's, it's uncomfortable, especially when it's new. You know, so, you know, I, I encourage you to reach out to those groups. You know, you have brothers that are here for you. You have um, uh, 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 organizations that are here for you. You have people that are here for you that, you know, that'll come and basically assist you in your complaint. But remember, being hostile and being, you know, belligerent, physical and all that is something that is almost, you know, going to guarantee you the worst thing that you you don't want. You know what I mean? You know, what? I'm going to start by um, going to go to a commercial. We're gonna start off our next seg our last segment with uh, these groups that I can go to if I'm that person. So we're gonna start off with that um, coming into our next segment. We're gonna go to a commercial now. We still like like say uh, give big ups to our sponsors uh, again. One Love Magazine, and don't forget to come and visit Sylvia's on the corridor. Uh, our one of our historical like uh, African American soul food restaurant. In addition to Creole Cafe, uh, husband and wife owned by Mr. and Mrs. Brave Boy excellent krill food and then don't lastly forget see carly bristol down at uh gallery 909 and it's funny we just got carly bristol in the studio so uh we're gonna run into a commercial and we'll be right back <laughs> Ended off the last segment. You were talking about a a, a group for a frustrated person that had engagement law enforcement that maybe they can go to and say, "Hey, how what's better to help me boost me and rectify the situation for?" Her? You were saying that last segment we closed off. Right. Um, basically, the group that that I am a part of, um, or I wouldn't even call it a group. I call it a a, a, a God body of people. It's okay. A, uh, you know, society of people that. You know that you know we're living in in our uh, our honorable lifestyle that we are. Um, you know the savage life, the the you know all the drug dealing and all that. You know just the the regular people that choose to live a civil lifestyle and without fear. 
you know, and anytime any rights or anything are being violated, um, you know, here is a body of people that's going to stand up, which is been, um, the name of the, the people are, you know, cultural gatekeepers, um, basically an organization designed to to um, you know, show you that there's someone that'll stand up for you. Show you that there's our people have gatekeepers, um, you know, for everything that that happens with us inside the communities. Um, that we don't have to run to you know other people to deal with situations and problems that we have in our communities um, as a people. You know, um, you know, you know, and it's a growing um, group. It's a growing organization. But basically, the whole philosophy is to make sure that you know the people know that there's a refuge. You know, there are people that that are go to that will go to the extreme with you. You know, that'll go in the police station with you. That are lawful because some of us are, are attorneys, some of us are paralegals. Like myself, I'm a paralegal. Um, you know, there. You know, the professions are vary, but for the most part, we're humans that that believe in our human existence. You know, as a, a people in a race. And you know, no matter what happens, we gonna stand in the gap. You know, no matter what what's going on, you know, we're gonna stand up for what's right, and even into death. Hmm. Um, How can I get in touch with a group like that? Um, well, first of all, we have we're right now we're kind of like finalizing, you know, the logistics with the group. But um, you can contact the group from um, online. We have a bunch of online spots from um, Genuine Bree Entertainment. Or you can just Google Gbree and any contact to do with me um, at, at this moment, you know, you can do it. But we'll also have contacts listed. But right now, Genuine Bree is spelled with a U. It's not spelled with a e. G U N U I N E breed. And and whatever the Google box show you, just go to one of those contacts and inbox or message and leave your situation or your problem right then. I'm guaranteeing you somebody will contact you back um, about your situation because. Um, we think that it's very pertinent and important that you understand that there's somebody here for you. You know, right. you don't have to fight by yourself. You don't have to, to, to cry and go through all this stuff by yourself. You know what I mean? People are here for you. No doubt. I mean, gee, I think you speak well, some good knowledge to I think a lot of people who could be in the middle where, first we don't have a media like that, that. Someone feeling that way, you know, we have this brother that maybe in the hustling that maybe want to transition over. Some of these things you're saying, you could be the light. So I think, fall, leading off what you just stated, I think we give us a good uh, follow through for some people to transition over and maybe don't even have no engagement with law enforcement. So I think it was, we like, thank you so much for coming on the show this week. We definitely going to have you back. Um, in closing, we will definitely let you know if some, if several things that's going on this weekend and next weekend. And first, we'd like to say tonight, this is the S, uh, NAACP will meet down at Sylvia's at 630. So if you want to definitely make down and come see what they got involved, that would be tomorrow at 6.30. And Bree, you were talking early, Enoch, there's something going on there tomorrow yeah, also. Yeah, there's a Know Your Rights class at Enoch tomorrow at 6 o'clock. Well, um, <clears throat> basically designed to, you know, I don't know too much because I don't know, but I know the people that I'm affiliated with, they, you know, that I support, you know, stuff like this. And this is awesome to me because now you have a chance to teach not only your children but your kin folks because you just you you don't want to be dealing with a, a, a loss of life because you know like that incident with the, the that the car lot yes. because someone was doing something that you know that almost justified what they had to do you know right. um that's tomorrow and not only that we have a hood walk that we're doing on the 17th monday the 17th at five o'clock that we're going to be walking through all the neighborhoods um in unity to see who exactly is willing to stand up and who is willing to be, um, you know, a part of that that God society, that 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 royal, honorable people, you know, and, and choose to live, you know, that in, in honor instead of just being some drug dealer or just instead of just being, you know, some radical or some violent person with, you know, an idea, you know, you, you whoever wants to be a part of what we're doing and whoever choose to live, you know, in honor and choose to live, you know, civil. Like, you know, what civil people do and, you know, and, and be a part of what we'll be walking through your neighborhood with waters and rags on the 17th at 5 o'clock and you come on walk with us because at the end of that walk, it's definitely going to be a rally that you won't forget. Oh, man, that's great. Also, we follow that on August 22nd, we have the SLC of Pinellas County. They'll be doing a voter registration. It's going to be over the St. Pete YMCA, Child Park YMCA. They've got their Saturday morning register for all of unregistered voters. And lastly, uh, on our last agenda tonight, District 7, 
Uh, all candidates will be there right on City Hall. Um, guess if you want to go out and hear them, that would be nice. 6 o'clock down at City Hall. You can go out and see what your candidate has to represent. I'm your host, Toriana Parker, wrapping up the show. My guest, G. Breed. Thank you again, brother. You're Look welcome. forward to coming out. Okay. And we'll be back here next Thursday at 12.15. Um, uh, look for One Love Magazine, the reproduction of the show on YouTube. So without further ado, I'll see you guys next week. Talk to you later. Peace. Six, 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 20, so. Crazy.